there? Who's knocking on my door? Oh, it's you, Sherman Oak CEO's Knights. Hi, I'm Katie McGrath, your principal. What is it you say? You'd like to hear a Halloween story? Well, I have a friendly, silly story for you. Feel free to share it with your family, even your younger siblings. Remember, this Halloween is special. It's different. And I wish you a safe, spooky time. Remember, we're all here for each other. And I wish you lots of fun. Bill the Bat loves Halloween. Bill the Bat loved Halloween. It was the funniest thing that he'd ever seen. The kids dressed up as ghouls and ghosts. The boy called Nixon scared him the most. Bill spent the night just flying around. To get a good look, he had to swoop down. The kids would all scream and scatter away. A bat, a bat, he heard them all say. Someone started a rumor some years ago. Let me think, let me think. How did it go? A bat could swoop down and get caught in your hair. In your hair he would nest and his kids would live there. It is the silliest story. A bat would much rather be asleep in someone's attic or in a cave by the sea. But whatever the reasons, the kids liked to run. At this time of year, to Bill, this was fun. He set himself down in the branch of a tree to rest for a second. And what did he see? The ghouls and the ghosts on the porch of the house and tagging along was his friend, Mike the Mouse. The moon was full, the stars were bright, the perfect setting for Halloween night. He leaped from the branch high into the air, swooping down on the kids who then ran everywhere. With one swing of a broom that caught him just right, Bill was sent flying back into the night. His vision was blurry when he finally came to, and Halloween night was over, done, through. Oh, the owl, from his perch, was shaking his head. I think you should take up the tango, he said. It is a dangerous game you are playing, my friend. One day you may not end up awake at the end. Bill thought for a moment, you are right, this is true. Maybe next year I'll just watch it with you. The end. And I have a little special effect for you. Owl the Owl, wishing you a very spooky, happy Halloween! And go nice. Hi, my name is Shannon, and today we're going to be carving a pumpkin. These are the materials you need. The first thing we're going to do is cut a hole in the pumpkin. Now that we finished cutting the hole, now we're going to empty out our pumpkin. So now we're going to get a spoon to empty out the pumpkin. Now that we have finished emptying out most of the pumpkin, we are going to use this to scrape out the rest. Now we are going to rinse our pumpkin. Now that we have finished cleaning the inside of our pumpkin, we are going to get ready to carve it. This is my final product. Go Knights! Once upon a spooky night, a little girl was studying for exams. 
I have an exam tomorrow, and I haven't got any sleep at all. And it is 11.24 p.m. Oh no, and my birthday is tomorrow, October 31st, and I'm so sleepy. <sighs> Jenny, no one's going to get water. Um, I found this box outside of your room. Is it yours? Um, let me see. I don't know. What, what does he even say? It says secret. Don't open until October 31st. October? Isn't that your birthday? Yes, this must be my birthday present. Well, let's open it right now. It's really late. It's 11.32. We're gonna... It's really late. Just open it. The right. Solstice is the best school in the world. I have to stay up studying or else I'm gonna fail my test. Okay, fine. Then finish that and you'll feel better. But, like, can we open it then? No. Not Why? now. Why? Come on. No. Let's open it. No. Give it. Jenny. No. Yes. Come on. Let's just no. open it. No. Yes. Jenny, why do you look so weird and, um, oh? Hey, you always judge people by the... What is your... What? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> You have been punished for opening this box too early. If you want to break this curse, you shall find a small pearl hidden in this house. But only a person who never gives up will find it. You will have to find it before the clock reaches 12, or you stay old forever. Come on, let's go find it. Let's go find it. Where is it? Maybe it's yes. Maybe it's there. Oh. Caramel. Why do you have the the pearl? Just touch it. Maybe it'll undo everything. Let's see what the boy said. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that wasn't you need to wake up. You need to wake up. Oh, I just we had a nightmare. Oh, um, what was it about? Um, I turned old. And we have to find a marble. I, I had the same dream. Maybe oh my god, really? Dream. Okay, there's no time for that. Let's go to the Pretty soon they figured it was no dream. And it was all true. Searching for a scary ghost. Truth 
or dare? Dare, I think. Yeah, dare. I dare you and me to go to Sosis. You don't mean? Yes. It said you can still hear the school bell ring. No way. No way. No. no. There's no reason to be scared. You'll see. We'll have a good time together, together. Won't be scary, so just be strong. But what if something goes wrong? I promise, nothing will. They go to the school, and even though it was Annabeth's idea, she might be regretting it. Hey, Annabeth, let's go fast. We're safe. Hey, Andy. But when Izzy turned back to Annabeth, she was gone. And in her place, a big, scary... GHOST! Hey, that's mean! I'm a ghoul. Say it with me. Ga, ha, ool. Ga, ga, ghoul! Good! Now boo! Ah! Ghoul is chasing me. She disappeared, my friend. I just want this to end. This is all a dream. I think. I am running while a ghoul is chasing me. Everybody hates me, I don't know why, I just like to scare people, I, I, I. And finally, she found Annabeth near the side front of the school. Help! Help! What? Ow! Help! How are we going to defeat this ghoul? The ghoul. The ghoul. We need to sing. Uh, what? I like it. totally found it, guys. <laughs> I'm like totally gonna post this on the Goolagram. What the what? What's this thing? We're singing, we're singing just for fun. Totally, totally not to run. We're singing this song so you can We're singing this song so we can breathe. We're singing, we're singing just for fun. Oh, thank God. Ha! <gasps> huh, how do you like a taste of your own medicine? Booyah! We can go back home now, right? Yes.
believe in that stuff. Anyway, even if there were a curse, which doesn't exist, there are really good candy in the neighborhood. And so she's just the best decorations. Like the best. Answering their doors. It's Halloween. I don't know, but it's getting late. We should go home. Okay. The Ghost of the Bloody Finger In a small town, not far from here, there was an old abandoned house. No one ever went near it, because everyone said that it was haunted. One day, a bunch of local people were sitting in a coffee shop, chatting about bravery. One man in particular was bragging loudly. I'm not afraid of anything. Oh, yeah? asked his buddy. I'll bet you aren't brave enough to spend a night alone in that old abandoned house. The boaster didn't want to admit, to admit that he was afraid, so he agreed to sleep in the house that very night. At dusk, he arrived at the house alone. He checked every room and found nothing unusual. He chose an upstairs bedroom, spread out his sleeping bag on the floor, and tried to sleep. He had just dozed off when he heard a faint noise from downstairs. He strained to hear what it was. It sounded like someone moaning these words. I am the ghost of the bloody finger. I am in the front hall. 
The man told himself that he was just imagining things. It must be the wind, he thought. But then he heard a little bit louder. I am the ghost of the bloody finger. I am at the bottom of the stairs. My imagination is running wild, thought the man. I am just going to go to sleep, and soon it will be morning. But then he heard even louder. I am the ghost of the bloody finger. I am at the top of the stairs. The man dove inside his sleeping bag, but he could still hear the ghost coming closer. I am the ghost of the bloody finger. I am in the upstairs hall. The man hid his, hid his head under his pillow, but he could hear the ghost coming even closer. I am the ghost of the bloody finger. I am at the bedroom door. The man was shaking in terror. The door creaked open. I am the ghost of the bloody finger. I am in the bedroom. The ghost paused in the doorway. I am the ghost of the bloody finger. Do you have a band-aid? Do you? Do you have a band-aid? Do you? Do you have a band-aid? A band-aid? A band-aid? Do you? Anyone? Anyone? Anyone have a band-aid? screamed and held on to the boy as the car swerved down the road. But it still sounded like someone was knocking on the door, trying to get in. Thunk, thunk, thunk. They finally pulled up in front of the girl's house. The boy looked at her and saw that she was afraid. And the boy said, smoothly, I'll open your door first and make sure it's safe. But when he walked around the car to let her out, hanging on the door was a bloody hook. That wasn't scary at all. It wasn't? Well, maybe you'll like this one better. It's a real screamer. Right, I'll be the judge of that. You'll see, once there was this guy named John who had just moved into this big old house and he was doing all these chores one day and it was so hot. Hot, hot isn't scary. Oh, I didn't mean hot. Actually, it was raining cats and dogs thundering all over the place. Then suddenly over the sound of the thunder, he hears a scream coming from inside of his house. He kneels down to look through the keyhole, and he sees the shadows of three monsters eating this guy. I think I'm gonna be sick. Monsters? Why are there monsters in his closet? 
stop interrupting. They just are, okay? So he rushes down the hall to call the cops. Metro Police Precinct, sir. You got what? Uh, let me get this straight, buddy. You're telling me you got three monsters in the closet? And they're eating somebody. Yes, that is, that is, yes, that is exactly what I'm telling you. What, what you think? I, I'm making this stuff up? Just would you send over some units now! So 20 minutes later, the cops arrive, armed to the gills. Yeah, we heard you got a, <clears throat> a little bit of a monster problem. Yeah, you better believe it. They're down the hall. <laughs> Follow me. Hurry! Base, this is unit 243. Unit 243, go ahead. Looks like you were right about that uh, monster guy. Better get the boys at the loony bin on the horn right away. Roger. Unit 243 out. Hurry! But no matter what they do, the cops can't get into the closet. So John tells them... Well, j just shoot the stupid lock. Aren't you guys trained to do that sort of thing? Whatever, buddy. It's your house. to call the cops. Again? Because it did so much good the first time? But this time, he tells them to bring everything they've got. 20 minutes later, the whole police department is in John's house. Police detective, you got a monster problem? You bet I do. Yeah, right down the hall this way. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Oh, see there. But this time, when the cops got to the closet door, it wasn't locked. In fact, there weren't any monsters in there. You're one sick puppy, you know that? We've run away for a long time. Well, no, 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 it wasn't me, it was the monsters, I swear. Sure it was, buddy. Uh, so where did the monsters go, if they're not in the closet? Well, uh, the cops are about to take John away. When suddenly, all three monsters jump out and start attacking the cops. Thinking fast, John grabs a gun from one of the dead cops and shoots the monsters. Bang! 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 Dead, dead, dead. So then what happens? Well, he helps fix up the injured cops and buries the dead monsters and goes back to his chores. Are you kidding? Chores my butt! There's no yard left to rake! It's Miller time! Come on, boys! It's time for bed! Aww. Aww. That was a good one, Mike. I thought so, too. Yeah, it was pretty scary. All right, it was kind of scary. Oh, come on. That was a great story. All right, it was great. Give it up, Furball. Story's over.
Schwarzenegger ain't got nothing on me.